Hop on, hop off buses are a great way to get around an unfamiliar city, and London has quite a few tour companies that offer similar experiences, so how do you choose between them? In this video, I'll give you the pros and cons of each of the four major companies that offer a hop on, hop off experience, and then I'll give you my recommendation based on what you're looking for. Hello everyone. Today we are in cloudy but iconic London. It's a bustling, busy city with so much to see and do. This is definitely a walk-friendly town with many attractions clustered close together, but using a hop-on, hop-off bus can be a more efficient way of getting around, especially if you're in tourist mode and just want a stress-free way of seeing London and getting from place to place. It's also good if you have trouble walking long distances or are afraid to navigate around in a strange city. So let's start with the pros to taking a hop-on, hop-off bus. And first off, you get a tour guide along with the ride. No, it's not a real tour guide. It's just recorded audio about the landmarks you're passing. And many companies offer that commentary in several different languages, along with earphones to listen in. But it's better than nothing. And if you don't care about the details and just want to know what you're looking at, that's what you'll get. Another pro is the idea of hopping on and off the bus at just the right places so that you can explore and get back on the bus to the next attraction. Instead of studying city maps and trying to figure out how to get from place to place, these hop on, hop off buses do all the mapping and routing for you. And that's a big plus if you have a limited time to spend in the city. Some of these companies also offer free walking tours, river tours, night tours, and combo tickets for other London attractions. So this is tailor-made for the London tourist. On the con side, the commentary these buses offer is often very superficial. So that could be a pro if you don't like too much detail or a con if you do. If you want in-depth information about the sites you're seeing, this is not the way to go. This is also not the fastest or cheapest way to get from site to site, especially if you're in a large group and you only want to get from point A to point B and not all over town. If you're not afraid to venture out on your own using public transportation, we'll get you there much faster and cheaper, but you have to put in the effort to figure out how to get there, which is really not that hard. We used two apps to get around London, Google Maps, of course, and an app called City Mapper, which I found very helpful in getting us from one location to another. It was very precise, telling us which trains to take and when they would arrive and how long it would take, and also step-by-step -step on how to walk from the train station to the actual site. But back to these buses, for some, the pros outweigh the cons. So let's take a look at the top four companies you should consider before buying your hop-on, hop-off tickets. And those are Big Bus, Toot Bus, Golden Tours, and City Sightseeing. I'll go through each of these and give you a rundown on the ticket types, the hours of operation, the routes, and the prices. I'll also walk you through some of the online reviews and then we'll wrap this up with a nice way to compare and make your own decision. Okay, let's start first with the big bus and yes, you see them everywhere. They seem to have the most routes and stops and have excellent reviews on TripAdvisor. There are a number of ticket options, including an evening tour that is not a hop on, hop off, but rather a hop on and stay on, for two hours and a panoramic tour of the city in the evening. The least expensive hop on hop off bus is the Discover ticket and that's about 40 pounds if you buy it online ahead of time, which is usually cheaper than buying it on the street. This price also includes a river cruise from the Westminster Pier to the Tower of London, which is a fun cruise on the Thames River Yes, the British pronounce it Thames. So yes, that's one of the must-do things, a river cruise down the Thames. We took a river cruise all the way to Greenwich to see the place where time begins. I'll make a video on that soon, but back to the bus, 
Your ticket comes with a free cruise one way and many, many stops along three routes, the red route, the blue route, and the green link. The map shows very clearly what landmark is at each stop, where to stand to catch the bus, and when the first and last buses run. Some of the stops overlap the red and blue routes, for example, the stop at Buckingham Palace. As you can see on the map, it's stop number 23, and the stop sign has a sign with both a blue dot and a red dot, and an arrow showing where you should stand to pick up the bus. It's very clearly marked. You can see that not only the big bus stops here, but also the original tour, which is also known as the Toot Bus, and also the Golden Tour. All three of these buses share this stop, which makes sense. It is, after all, Buckingham Palace. How often the buses come, especially if you are hopping on and off, is very important. The big bus has very frequent buses, and they come every 10 to 20 minutes if you're looking at the red and blue routes. The green link is less frequent and is not really to tourist sites, although there are some, but rather to link you from red to blue or to the underground. The green link runs, according to the published schedule, every 30 to 60 minutes, so you could be waiting an hour for that connection. There's also a Big Bus app that's useful to find out when exactly a bus is coming, and it also gives you a more detailed map of the area if the app works. I found reviews that said that the app did not give live updates accurately, and the buses were running more like 30 minutes between them, or the buses were crowded, which has nothing to do with the app, but there were not good reviews on the app. Let's take a look at TripAdvisor, and you can see almost 7,000 reviews with a rating of 4.0. That's a lot of reviews, and let's take a look at what some people are saying. Here's a review from someone named PS8200. They gave Big Bus a rating of 2. They didn't like the audio portion of the tour, but that's really standard. These are not tour guides. It's just an audio of what landmark you're looking at, nothing in depth. Reading the reviews on TripAdvisor, PS8200 comments that they were disappointed with the audio part of the tour. They had thought it was more of a guided tour than a superficial rundown of landmarks. So don't expect anything more than that. Here's another review from Georgia C. The driver never said a word, and when a passenger asked which route they were on, his response was, I'm not following the route. Wow. So if you get a crabby bus driver, you're in trouble. But that's with any bus line you take. There were a lot of positive comments as well. Here's one from DJ Mike. Best bang for your buck. You can see from his review that he was quite happy. So there's a mixed bag of reviews, but overall the rating for Big Bus was 4 out of 5, so overall very positive. If you want to use the bus as a stay-on ride, and in this way cover the city from the convenience of a seat, and hopefully a good seat on the top with a good view, then the blue route with 38 stops will keep you occupied for three and a half hours, while the red route with 25 stops will keep you busy for two and a half hours. Sit back and enjoy the ride if that's what you want to do. This bus goes everywhere you want to go as a London tourist without having to figure out how to get there. The next bus company we'll look at is the Toot Bus, also known as the Original Tour. Their must-see London ticket, which includes a river cruise, is £35.7, and their London Discovery ticket, which doesn't include the cruise, is just under £30. They offer other experiences, such as London by Night Tour, which is not a hop-on, hop-off, but rather a 90-minute stay-on tour of the city, as well as a kid-oriented tour and a not-so-kid-oriented tour. And just like the Big Bus, they offer a Toot app. The Toot app is rated 3.7 out of 5, and many of the reviewers complained that it was useless, just like the Big Bus app. I guess the technology is not there yet. 
As for the routes, you can see here the various routes. I have all of them highlighted here, but this is an interactive map, so you can toggle them on and off to see where the buses go. So for example, if you click on one of the numbers, say blue 31, then it will tell you where the stop is and also what all the blue route stops are. But no pictures of the actual stops or where to stand as we saw with the big bus company. Those pictures can be very helpful when you're disoriented in a strange city. The toot bus routes don't have as many stops as the big bus and the website has no information about the duration of each route. Still, this bus goes to all the important places and is a bit cheaper than big bus, especially if you take the Discover ticket without the cruise. The rating on TripAdvisor is lower than Big Bus. Big Bus had a rating of 4 out of 5 stars. Toot has 3.5 out of 5. And let's take a look at some of the comments. Andrea rated Toot Bus a 4 out of 5, but comments that they had trouble finding the bus stops, but otherwise thought it was a very good value for the money. Nicey from Toronto rated this bus a 1 due to their missing an 1115 excursion. A little tip here, don't use these buses to get to timed excursions. Take the underground or a black cab. This was a group of five, so a black cab would have made more sense than a hop-on, hop-off bus. The black cab can accommodate up to six people. Meanwhile, John C. rated the company a 2 out of 5 due to the rude driver, a really rude driver, and the audio was not working. This is actually a common problem with many hop-on, hop-off buses I've taken. No matter which company or which city, the audio is usually terrible. Either the jack is bad and you have to switch seats for a better headphone connection, or the live narration is hard to hear because of the wind, a heavy accent, or some other reason. So don't take these tours if you're looking for quality audio or narration. There are some very good audio tours you can download. Some are free, some not, or buy a guidebook and follow along as you pass each site. The main purpose of these buses is to get you around the most important parts of the city, the so-called highlights, and there are so many highlights in London. This bus is worth it just for that. Okay, let's move on to the next company, Golden Tours, and we actually use this company to visit Stonehenge, Bath, and Windsor Castle. We had a very positive experience, and I'll leave that for another video. All I'll say now is book it. It's a great way to see so much in one day. But now let's take a look at their hop on, hop off options. If you choose the one day ticket with a cruise, the price is around 37 pounds, just a bit more than the toot bus, but less than the big bus. If you choose the one day ticket without the cruise, then it's around the same as the toot bus at just under 30 pounds. Big Bus does not give an option to buy a ticket without the cruise, so the starting price is £40. Golden Tours also offers some free walking tours, and they do look exciting, so check those out. Big Bus also offered three free walking tours, but only with the more expensive tickets, not the base price tickets, as the Golden Tours does. Toot offers self-guided tours via an app, but you can get that for free without them, so the Toot Walk doesn't really add much value. Golden Tours has three main routes. The Blue Route, which is the classic tour passing all the main central London landmarks. The Red Route that explores the center and north London. And then the Orange Route they call the Museum Tour, which passes all the iconic museums in London. There is an additional route for hotel, morning, and drop-off service as well. Here's the map, and unfortunately it's not interactive like Big Bus and Toot Bus. They also have a printed timetable with all the stops, which can be very helpful if they're running on schedule. I didn't see any apps offered for Golden Tours. TripAdvisor reviewers gave Golden Tours a 4 out of 5 rating. Most of the recent reviews were very positive. And one reviewer loved Joe, who was very happy and smiley, and spoke loud and clear, and gave lots of good details about London. 
And then Joe's shift ended and the next driver didn't live up to the high bar that Joe had set, so that was a disappointment. The great thing about a hop on, hop off bus is, if you don't like the driver, hop off and wait for the next one. Hopefully a better driver will be on the next bus. The last bus company we'll look at is City Sightseeing. They offer two hop on, hop off options. The Iconic at around 44 pounds and the Essential Tour, which includes a river cruise for around 50 pounds, which is far more expensive than Big Bus or Toot Bus and certainly Golden Tours. The buses run three routes covering 31 stops, which is less than either Big Bus or Toot Bus, and for more money. Just like the other companies, they have a map with labeled stops, and when you click on a numbered stop, you get very little information. The maps for Big Ben and Toot Bus are more interactive and provide much more information. There's also no information about an app, so it doesn't appear that they have one, although the other companies had inefficient apps, at least they have apps, and as the technology improves, hopefully those apps will get better. It could also have something to do with the user's Wi-Fi or LTE connections. Let's take a look at what TripAdvisor has to say. Like Tootbus, City has a review rating of 3.5 out of 5, compared with Big Buses and Golden Tours 4 out of 5 rating. The first couple of reviews seem to rave about Alberto and the great customer service, and then I got to Helen's description of her husband trying to get off the bus and a rude and very careless bus driver. Again, you will find rude in other bus companies as well, but this story seemed more than the typical one. Here's another complaint about rude drivers and staff, but there were a lot of positive comments as well, especially recently. I think my main issue with this company is the value for your money. It is much more expensive than the other companies, and you get less bang for your buck here. So what's my recommendation? Well, if money is no object, then Big Bus has the most routes, together with a 4 out of 5 rating from TripAdvisor reviewers. They visit many more stops and operate their buses from 8 in the morning to 6 at night, the longest schedule. But they don't offer an option for a 3-day ticket, as far as I could see, and you pay extra for the river cruise, whether you're going to use it or not. Still, they had the most favorable rating, and we saw their buses around London all the time, so it looks like you don't have to wait for a bus too long, and their bus stops are very clearly marked and pictured, so it's a no-brainer to find out where you have to wait. Golden Tours also had a 4 out of 5 rating, and they do offer a 3-day ticket. Without the cruise, Toot Bus seems to have the best value and longer operating hours than Golden Tours. I can't recommend City Sightseeing just because of their price. They are the most expensive with only a 3.5 rating from TripAdvisor. Whichever bus you choose, remember you're not getting a professional tour guide with your tour, and the audio can be very superficial and even hard to hear sometimes. So why take a hop-on, hop-off bus? Well, it really is the best way to see the entire city and all of its landmarks without driving around yourself. And although they think they're driving on the right side of the road, they're really driving on the left side. So renting a car when you're used to driving on the other side of the road is not really a good idea. The river cruise was fun and you get to see things from the Thames River that you can't see from the road. And passing under bridges and waving to people above is always fun, especially when you're a tourist. Whatever you decide, I hope you have fun in London. Bye for now.